Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saigon and today we're continuing the good old uh, blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty. I'm quite pleased with how things are going and it's time for a bit more scavenging. Uh, so since we're fighting against the pure, I'm not really expecting all too much other than getting heavily shafted in this mission. We got our C team here. So let's hope things are going our way. Um, item wise we're fine. We got everything we need. It's not a great equipment but it is okay. Might want to leave room for things that we can loot. Don't need that much ammunition. I much rather take a little bit more of that ammunition. Uh, that's okay. Incy Wincy is going to be our looter. And I think Kyle can also do some more pistol ammunition, but not so much um, ammunition for the sniper rifle. I think this here, by the way, way too much. We never need to heal 20 times. Okay, good enough. Let's deploy. Good. So, what do we have? We got one and two and three crates. Four if we're really lucky, five if we're pushing it. But to be honest, I don't want to push it. I just want some solid loot and get the hell out of here. On the move. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Ready, willing, and able. Ready. Okay, so, um, One, two, yeah, we're already seeing a couple of technicians there. I Hope don't want to works. fight against the pure. Specifically not if we do have everything like right here. Nice, we got a neutral uh, neutralizer. Moving to coordinates. Room for two more items yes these are typically quite uh, expensive so let's take them oh we got a sniper uh. let's move out of line of sight many action points one we got the good old deploy decoy good. 
and Sivin see moves up. And we will get a nice amount of loot here. Fender magazine. And let's take handgun, mag handgun magazines as well. Okay, ending turn. This guy has a rock launcher in hand. Okay, moving to here. Get the crate. Yes, yes, yes. We leave that behind and take that instead. No time to lose. Moves up and then evacuates. Cool. It's one gone. Vincy Vincy evacuates. Very nice. I'm going in. I'm here. Identifying target. One, two. Three. Switch. Reload. And let's get out of here. By thinking we about it, we don't even this. need to hit them. Because it just costs us more material. That was the easiest scavenge mission I've had in a while. Yeah, super easy. And we got all operatives out. Okay, that was almost a bit disappointingly easy. Because we had like, what, four crates at the beginning? We couldn't even get much, uh, much more than that. So any other risk would have been just completely... Um, unsubstantiated why would you take any more risk four med kits ammunition a new uh, neuronizer almost a thousand resources and a lot of ammunition and all we needed to do is pay seven okay cool I would say worth it uh, Haven info here no too expensive sorry Haven info. Recruit that soldier and we're putting that soldier into Phoenix Point. Basis personal. has a different uh, head mutation, instills frenzy in friendly characters within 20 tiles for two turns. Not bad, so this guy automatically uh, creates frenzy. Yeah, not bad at all. I think what would be helpful is in terms of 
uh, his movement. Still want to do the Manticore. I need something that has a bit plus speed and a good defense. Plus one speed here. So these these things here would be plus speed, but no plus accuracy. This here is plus speed and a bit accuracy. A little bit less speed, but and equal armor, but still five accuracy. Weighs the same, same armor. Good, we'll do that after the Manticore. For now, let the priest just be there. I want to at least get mind control. And we also need, um, need more aircrafts anyways. So, by the way, since we're here... Two for ten can do that. Materials, tech, food, research. Oh, wow. That's good. Uh, we are moving on. Trading here. Four for six. We'll take that. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're flying to here, to here, and then over to here, actually. Send a team of excavations to open the pass into the ancient ruins. Excavate eight hours. Okay, new items available. 120 Slam Strike Shotgun. Two action points, 120 plus shock. Shock is good. And a lot of shred. But still, unless it's one action point, uh, it's a bit of a problem. Trading here. And trading here. We're still on our way back. Oh my gosh. Trading here. Two for twelve. That's good. Excavation completed. Enemy the Ancients. Threat level extreme. Mm. Is that a good idea with the rookie team? Establish control over the ancient side. I'm 
not sure if that's a good idea. Threat level extreme does sound like a little bit too much. We do still have uh, things that we can uh, research here. Incidency. Hmm. We still could use more, more uh, hit points. Neither thief. The plus one speed is okay, but not worth twenty-five points. And I think the 20% accuracy is just with uh, heavy weapons. Rather want to have a second class. Uh, here we could get assault rifle proficiency. These guys are moderately injured. They do have a very low, a very low stats overall. I, nah, I don't think. I remember this one, and we'll, we'll go there. I think we need to go back and recover. We've been in the air for way too long. Back to the bases. Frozen circuit. Yeah. Um, We do have a training facility and even better, we do have a medical bay here. Living quarters as well. We do have quite a few archaeology labs, but I'm not sure if we need all of them. We have two here. Hmm. I mean, the labs are fine. Three research labs, one, fabri uh, one tra uh, fabri um, fabrication plant, training facility, medical bay, enough to keep soldiers uh, ref uh, refreshed. Locate and eliminate the Skrilla and evacuate your squad. Well, that one is the ultra hardcore enemy. Be aware of the Pentorian's defense and, uh, systems. Well, if we break this one, everybody will love us. Threat level extreme. It's not becoming much more extreme than that. The guys in, born in the USA are generally ready and we got a new recruit, a heavy, uh, which we will put into born in the USA. I mentioned we're slowly but surely getting there. That will be the next team that we're building up. can't help myself but to see that everybody's stamina is just completely depleted. I need to fly back more often. We have been on these like ultra long trips trying to do everything super efficient and then their stamina is just low. So let's do 
the citadel now and then we're going to explore explore prime team maybe flies back after the citadel and then maybe even flies over here to do that uh, that uh, citadel that's another pretty sizable one not as hardcore as the one that i'm seeing Okay, cool. Anyways, um, let's jump into this mission here and deploy. If there are really that many enemies, I have to wonder, do we bring enough ammunition with us? And just generally enough healing. Hero Magazine. I think we should be okay. Not sure, I think this here is overdoing it a bit. I'll give him one more strength for good measure. And another mad pack. Because I have uh, the slight feeling we're going to need it. Okay, so we don't even have a retreat point. Uh, if you go into this mission and you don't know what you're doing, then you do have a problem. Well. Luckily, we know what we're doing, at least uh, I sincerely hope right that we do. By the way, uh, for starters, let's start with install friends. <laughs> Delay G begins to free aim. Hit that thing. Shadow Realm moves up. That's one down, thousands to go. Dranks, our frontliner, moves up, takes the gun. And then takes the shield. Moving to coordinates. Then he moves completely out of uh, line of sight. Where is our second shield? I think right here. E and the Butcher Owens is a battle brother. Use the shield as well. Mrs. Grell. Puts herself nicely into cover. Overwatch. Uh, Grell can't really overwatch. All set. 
but Dilly can. Okay, killed one. And the other one really is just hitting the shields. Okay, we did not hit our comrade, did we? Friendly fire is a real threat in this game. I don't know how to feel about it. Generally, I like it, but... It can be a problem. One, two, three, four. Well... Grell moves in. <laughs> Hits this guy and finishes him. Five by five. Billy moves into cover. I don't think that we can contain anyone here. Euler, our second sniper, dashes into position thanks to the abnormously high <clears throat> movement. We're actually good. And that's the second one down. Shut at realm one. of realm two yeah we can do war cry this guy D does he have can he spit is the question well we're going to find uh, we're not trying to find that out so first Let's push forward. Okay, haven't completely gotten the arm. could use a grenade to soften this guy up. But I think this here will be better. Costs four will points. Okay, we definitely <clears throat> are moving in nicely. This very much looks like where the actual boss battle is happening.
and more enemies are coming. Couple of things here. For starter, melee weapons are absolutely fantastic. I would say borderline overpowered. But maybe I'm just getting it wrong. Ian the Butcher owns, goes back. Indirect fire. <laughs> Good. The alpha is burning. Well, bleeding, I was about to say. Lost both of its legs as well. Yeah, our second grenade launcher is here, right? Yeah. Move it back, mostly because I don't want to deal with a fight from multiple sides. Receiving. Billy G. <clears throat> Taking aim. Agile legs, abdomen, carapace. I think the abdomen is still likely the best. We're dealing quite a bit of damage. Born ready. I'll be right there. Our snipers should take the back here Drangs moves over and I think even some basic bitch shots will be helpful <coughs> reduces armor Tell you what, we're overwatching because we don't have a really good line of sight. I'm here. Pistol shot, pistol shot, pistol shot.
taste. But we're. <clears throat> I think we will need to move a just tiny bit back. I don't want to fight against that thing in melee. <clears throat> Also, we have to deal with these guys left and right. <sighs> hmm. Not the turn that I was expecting. Not the turn that I was expecting. Uh, we can definitely war cry this guy, which would be helpful. So, for starters, we cannot instill friends yet. grenades in order to get that guy down and likely shields but it's still very very healthy should that realm would be needed on the other side unfortunately can't change it but he's really effective in melee attacking and that level of action efficiency is what we need right now we have grenades Well, we do have war cry and someone has to do the war cry we're handing over actions to ready uh, to Delhi here Let's move. Okay. Then he goes back. Ready to roll. Okay, so. Putting that little mind fragger. Helpful. Also, lots of the stupid legs. <laughs> We're continuing to hit its spawn uh, spawn cycle. Got a few will point shots here. And I'm thinking Just maximizing damage by using quick aim. We're going to get punished because we're ignoring the small, uh, the small ones. But I don't have to side on them at the moment. Shot next time. Should have free aimed the last one. Good. Walk <laughs> Not 
not ending the turn yet. Ready, sort of. Now we can end the turn. <clears throat> it hurts. Let's move. We're not going to make it. Run. Okay, well, this is going to be a really tough round for us. Could go on and just slam him in melee. I think that's the best to uh, tool here. Keep it together, operative. to do Dilly G Mad Kid Adding out Moving out. All right, that is helpful. Two and back, that is helpful. shots and we should make sure that that we're uh, killing this guy did not hit him
Where did we hit with all of uh, the normal smashes? Sometimes on the legs, sometimes anywhere else. Okay, we're good. He took out our arm, but he only had one action. We're still capable of going strong. Uh, where do we have onslaught? Good. We have that here. Well, for starters, a few things. It's still frenzy. Yes. Grenade. Oh, absolutely. Take uh, onslaught. Damn it! I wanted to give it over to Shattered Realm. That's why I said before we're doing a mistake. Well, jumping out. tries to heal everyone torso very much down to 500 hit points It's twice. Yeah, I can't stay in there, unfortunately. Section might as well move back because we're too low.
How many hit points? Four. Ooh, so close. Ian heals himself. Okay. Shattered Realm moves in. One, two, problem solved. Three. Dilly moves up. Gives back hit points. We are. I need a technician. That was a very, very costly mission overall. On the move. All set. Dilly takes a pistol. Overwatches. Sniper rifle, oh yeah, that is well within our means. Got a nice little um, laser sniper rifle. So Grell effectively could use some medication as well. And we're using the shield. Good. Just want to get everybody to almost full hit points. That guy is coming around from here. We're ready for it. Wow, just wow. Our evac zone is there. Let's begin. Grell leads the way. Overwatches. Shattered Realm over. Moving Euler over. I'm here. Double time. Moving Dilly G over. That fight took quite everything 
quite literally everything that we had. Drangs deploys the shield. And Ian the Butcher owns runs with us. Pistol Overwatch as per the usual. They could be anywhere. Good. Luckily, we don't need to deal with a Triton, and he only has an assault rifle. Unfortunate for us, we do need to deal with a Triton. One, and three reload. And protect our friend. Okay, before we're continuing to shoot, all set. Let's see what Dilly can do. Identifying target. I do have an idea. I'll do a new combination that I just thought of, which is quicker shot. Okay. Cool. And then we can Overwatch. Because Overwatch is minus one AP. Should have thought about that a bit earlier. Um, I think we're just recovering with Shattered Realm, to be honest. Moves over here. Kills this guy. Gets into cover. Which nicely brings us to Ian the Butcher owns, protecting our other assets. Okay, cool. Almost has his shit together. Not quite yet. There is another enemy coming from here. Overwatch. Um, really can't do much other than melee attacking. Together, Dilly begins to move to the exit. Pistol Overwatch, thank you. Not leaving anyone behind. Instead, what we're doing is operating a nice little shield. Unfortunately, we can't uh, overwatch during that, but we will. provide ample cover unless someone's using a explosive gun. Ready, sort of. Got to just run out of here, dude. I've got a bit.
good. That will cost us a lot to repair all of the damaged body parts. No, misclick. No, misclick. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, okay, well, we're going to be fine, don't worry. Not yet evacuating, free aim. Getting the arm off. Oh, that was so disheartening, the misclick. Okay, but this time we can just run out. Oh, wow. I was afraid for a second that we would lose someone. I'm realizing that the amount of XP that you're getting divided by 100 is the skill points for the skill point pool. So everything seems to be very much uh, mathematically aligned. Okay, cool. The skiller has been killed in the structure, abandoned. Rest of humanity can breathe with relief. We almost lost it someone. It would appear that diplomatic <laughs> relations between Sinedrian and the Phoenix Project are improving. This seems like a positive development to me, but I'm curious. Are you motivated by any kind of investment in our political and philosophical views, or are you just doing your job? We're protecting all factions without taking sides. Ah, so our short-term goals are similar. Good. Supportive, friendly, friendly. Almost there, so close. Well, I can tell you that got, uh, got me pretty much uh, scared when we were dropping down to four hit points. Euler. Onslaught is good. That's not bad either. I think that's a fantastic option for him. It means he's applying viral damage on top of his normal shots, uh, given that he still has uh, the assault rifle <coughs> and the ability to shoot three times with more willpower, even more. That actually makes a lot of sense. I am considering giving him Onslaught because I notice just how good that ability is in reality. Grell Boom Blast, which we do not need. Self Defense Specialist. Uh, handguns and PW, uh, uh, PDWs. The PDWs might be helpful for her <clears throat> because they are also only one action. But we're going to go with Inspire. Killing an enemy grants allies one additional will point, and that will fill our, uh, fill our resources very, very quickly. Could get the brawler ability here, not needed, in my opinion. Here we wanted to get the second class. Yeah, 
Yeah, the team is excellent. I really like what I'm seeing. I noticed though that we might, might need some more hit points because the hardest enemy is hitting for 180, right? <clears throat> and then deals bleed damage as well. So we might need to pump up these values a bit more. Yeah, but that'll come over time. For now, it's not the most important aspect. Manticore 1. Returns to base. Set up, um, okay, so our operators report uh, stretching across the entire valley, field of human hearts interconnected by thin strands of connective tissues and slimy pulsating veins. The effect is deeply hypnotic and looking at it for too long causes a strange feeling of one's own heart becoming synchronized to the beat. Let's collect data. Research 190, that is good. Okay, we're putting a couple of other things here. So for now, our personnel for the first time begins to actually recover at the base. Research complete. Which is good, which is very good. Our prime team regains hit points. Secondary team is now also regaining uh, stamina and hit points. Primary team is almost ready to move out. Crew of the Manticore 1 fully recovered. That's great because I will need you guys. <clears throat> to fly up here and begin recovering that stuff. We still have another Pandoran Citadel which our other team should take care of. But yeah, you can finally see that like stamina and hit points are going up, which is good. Manticore 3 has uh, found a place to trade. I think we are Pretty much done now with exploration on the main continent. <clears throat> this team needs a few more missions under their belt. So I wonder if we do more excavations that should go well. Ish. Good, Tiamat's team is almost recovered, that's good. Research complete. 
The Skrilla is something like a Pandoran battleship. Multiple weapon systems and defenses. Yeah, I noticed that. Uh, food harvesting technology. Food can now be produced uh, from captured Pandorans in the Pandoran container facility. Um, okay. We have uh, recently identified a small noodle located in the brain of every single Pandoran creature. This uh, neural cluster may <coughs> be explaining their abilities. Well, we'll research their noodles uh, fa uh, soon enough. No need to get overly excited about their noodles. Tiamat 2 is ready and I'm wondering where do we send these guys? I think the answer is clear. It's the hive over here. Good, it's again extreme threat level and we're fighting during the night. Yeah, might as well do that. Anyways, we'll, we'll do that the next time. It seems the missions are now picking up in difficulty, which I appreciate. The last one definitely was a banger. It however also means that this uh, third team might not be well enough equipped in order to deal with all of the the harsh realities that you're facing with end game enemies let's shortly go through the second team tyler's waiting for a second class Natalia needs to get to the 200 hit point array. Hexo definitely needs to get there. Murphy slowly but surely needs to get there. Yeah, all of them are just waiting for for more experience. Prime team, really good, like it. Secondary team uh, is getting their third team is kind of losing a little bit. I'll leave Dili and Euler for now. I want to see what the mutations can do. We've created a lot of cyborgs already. In terms of base management, all of this here looks fine. We got more fabrication plants on the way. Good, repairing that uh, extra facility here. This is the one in Alaska so that we can fly over. Having a basic medic facility though would make sense, right? Yeah, not enough resources to build that. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll get enough resources. We do have enough resources. We just need to trade for the right ones. Yeah, okay. That's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If uh, you want to trade some resources to the channel, 
then uh, just trade the resource of you clicking the like button for a bit more attention on the video. That's a good trade in my opinion. Thanks and see you soon. Bye bye.